Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be talking about and testing out the Treco Professional Art Supplies brushes, a couple of them that I received, and I picked out a couple that I usually use in my watercolor paintings, as well as two or three that I don't normally use and I wanted to try out. So I chose some Golden Taclon 6 inch handle brushes and a quill mop brush. And first off, all of the brushes that I received are synthetic. Of course, Taclon brushes in general are synthetic, but the quill mop brush is a synthetic squirrel hair brush. And at first I thought it was actually, um, real hair uh, just because of the texture of the brush and how well it is made but no it's synthetic which is cool so first off I wanted to say that these are sort of like a mid price range kind of brush they're not the cheapest that you can get but they're not the most expensive either and so in my opinion these are really good professional brushes um, they are very inexpensive for the quality and what you get um, and I would recommend that you pick these up if you know which brushes you like in watercolors and you're pretty serious about it and you'd like to invest in a couple of good brushes. Um, these hold the nicest points and all of them are amazing quality. And uh, just so you know, these were sent to me by Treckle, but I am not sponsored to say anything, I'm not paid to say anything, and I told them that I was going to leave an honest review for their brushes. But of course, with all the reviews that I do on my channel, I usually pick out products that I know I will like and um, I'm interested in trying out and talking about for you guys. So if you watch this video and you end up liking the brushes, I will have a 15% off coupon code down in the description, and all the details will be down there if you need them. So first off, I grabbed two brights in 12 and 4 and these hold an immense amount of water they're very silky and thick and all of the brushes are very thick so um, the one thing I noticed about all of these brushes is they carry a lot of water um, next I got a filbert in 10 it comes to a lovely arch dome shape and none of the bristles sort of stick out to make that shape a little bit uh, ragged at all and then I got a couple of rounds in size 10 four and two and these rounds also come to a very nice point they hold a lot of water next i chose a rigger brush in size two because i was curious to see what sort of a liner detail brush would be like and lastly i chose the quill mop in five over zero and so this brush is like it holds an incredible amount of water you don't even know um, but yeah, it was the first time I've tried out a quill mop brush and I was really pleasantly surprised. I loved how it worked. So the brushes that I picked out range from around like three to seven dollars and of course the ones that cost a little bit more are going to be the bigger sized brushes and I definitely think that if you're looking to invest in a couple of good brushes these are the ones to go with. I honestly like the bristles on these brushes a little bit more than the ones on the Grumbacher Academy round brushes that I have. Um, I haven't really used them too much because I find them to be a little bit too coarse for me but these ones are super um, silky and like thick luxurious kind of brushes and I really like that. And since these are professional brushes, I did not have any issues with the way they were made or any shedding with the brush hairs. Um, they are completely professional brushes. What's nice about Taclon brushes is that since they're synthetic and the way they're built, they can be used with any medium, but they're optimized for watercolors and acrylics. Um, so yeah, definitely they're good for watercolors and I recommend them if you would like to try them out. I also chose the 6 inch handles because I do like a shorter handle while I'm working with um, any medium honestly, even with oil paints I do like a shorter handle. I feel like the larger one kind of gets in my way just because I always put my face very close to whatever I'm painting um, and so if it's longer it would poke my eye out or get in my way or something. So definitely I like the 6 inch handles since they are shorter. So these brushes do feel very sturdy. The coating on the handles is very thick and it doesn't feel like it would chip very easily. I do have a couple of brushes where the paint um, and the coating on the wooden handle does eventually start to chip and you can feel the wood, but these, the coating, it, it feels very thick in your hands, you know? I was very surprised at how much water all these brushes held because they have the same sizes for these brushes in a couple of different brands and um, these soaked up a bunch of water and they did carry through a lot. And at the beginning I showed you how much I can get from loading the rigger brush just one time and so yes, these brushes hold a lot of water so I definitely recommend them if you're looking for some professional quality brushes that are not extremely expensive. Of course I'm not going to say that these are the cheapest thing ever if you're looking for some beginner art supplies, finding something on Amazon or a couple of brush packs that are a little bit cheaper are good to start off with but if you know which sizes you like and if you 
do want some good quality brushes, I definitely recommend these. They're definitely worth the amount you pay for and I think they're a very good price for what you get, which is a very good quality brush. I had absolutely no problems with them. And as I said, I'm not sponsored or I'm not paid to say anything nice and I could definitely have had a negative review, but um, they are very good quality and I really like them. Also, I wanted to let you know that I'm going to be closing my shop again this Thursday. I'm going back to college um, for the next semester, so I'm not going to be able to sell anything in my shop for a while. And so if you'd like anything or uh, would like to pick up any original drawings or some prints, you can go check that out. It's going to be linked down in the description. And yeah, I appreciate all of your support. And I know that I didn't really get anything done this break that I planned to get, but it went by faster than I thought it would. And I'm not going to beat myself up about it because um, I'm happy that I did get more sleep and um, I rested since in the semester it's like I have a lot of stuff to do and it's uh, much more hectic. So it was a break and it was a good break. Um, yeah, I'm happy about that. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was a little bit helpful and if you liked it please give me a thumbs up because I would appreciate it, of course, and if you want to subscribe because I put out new videos every single Sunday. Um, I will talk to you guys next week. Bye!